Okay, we're starting at the north side of the structure. We're behind the fence with the smoker. And coming along, this is the air conditioning system. And this is brick, it's painted brick. And we have weep holes. Those are good things right there. Weep holes, all roofs leak. Home ownership 101, all walls leak. We design them to shed water faster than they accept it to keep the inside dry. And one thing we're not seeing, I haven't noticed, there are no expansion or control joints, which is common from the age of this house was built, but we always we all expect them to move and it'd be nice if you had an expansion or a control joint, call it what you will. This is the electric service disconnect for the air conditioning system. It's over to the side. It's been sealed, so I can't take the cover off and look inside of it. But it's been sealed with open foam, so that might stop some wind, but that's not gonna stop any water from getting in, into the structure. This is the unit right here. It's a Nordine. It's four tons. I think it's 11 years old. They're designed, engineered to last about 20. It's supposed to be level. You're supposed to have a rain diverter above it to keep water from coming down on it. It's R22 system. So when this was installed, it should have had anti-theft Schrader valves. Those are refrigerant service ports. Schrader valves, service uh, port caps, Schrader valve caps. <laughs> this insulation since 2005 okay that should have been rigid to keep squirrels from chewing on it uh, sun's uv rays from destroying it like it has uh, this was the wrong kind of foam when this was installed then over here we're obviously we're losing some refrigerant from some of those same reasons that i'd mentioned okay it's a four ton unit i think i mentioned that the coils are very dirty Moving along, this is a water filtration system for the house. This is beyond the scope of this inspection, but it's a salt water. It's about 75% right now. I'm not seeing a care and use manual. Uh, somebody has a light on under, in there to keep it from freezing, so you might want to talk to the sellers. Is, uh, they've got a history of these pipes freezing. Is that what that is? <clears throat> I'll have to I'll unplug that. It was um, The GFCI was tripped for that plug when I got here. So they're used to it not being on, and there's a lot of debris in there. So I'm just not going to leave that light on. It was foolish, I believe, to put it there. Still on the north side, moving around, we've got soaker hoses, which is which is good. I've already mentioned the satellite dish. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but you see this edge. Sometimes it's rake edge. This is drip edge. It's flashing between the shingles and that little wood right there. That little metal flashing. That band flashing edge flashing is what it's called it's supposed to lap a minimum of 10 inches this is not doing it you probably never have a problem with that here it is it's like one inch check that out probably never have a problem with it i get that but it wasn't done right we've got some movement on the structure got the freeze board right here it's rotating out a little bit see that we've got some deflection we're gonna take some measurements now right in here we have level grading and drainage. Most of the house, you've got a decent swell. You can see where the water's going away. Most of the house in the front, I'll show it to you as well. But right in here, we're not getting the drainage that we'd like to have. This is probably the faucet that you're gonna to use to fill the swimming pool. I say probably because we got some plumbing right here that's obviously designed to automatically swim, fill the swimming pool. It does not have an anti-siphon device on it. It does not have a vacuum breaker. So there's nothing to keep the pressure from the pool from pushing back up into your potable water supply. That's filtered. Okay, so that's what that is. I'll come back and I'll put that back. A little later, we're gonna have a little preach, a little come to Jesus meeting about the GFCI. It's not supposed to be used. And again, I found it tripped, so I'll trip it. It's not supposed to be used for other things besides the swimming pool lights, which do not work. The pool lights that do not work. Now we're tracing this back here a little bit. Okay, this goes to one swimming pool light. This probably goes to the other swimming pool light. Probably goes to the spa light. And so it comes on across here, across here, comes down to this junction box, comes out, and it comes into the middle of the patio. So without this rug, that's a trip safety hazard. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe the sellers can explain that better. It'd be nice if they could. 
but you can find some comfort your comfort level with the way that's handled the way they've handled it is they just put a bunch of rugs over it and that's the way it was handled so it is what it is coming along here this is a mechanical canopy that's beyond the scope of this inspection it's got a little rod that you hang in that little eye right there and you twist it out and you twist it back I'm not sure. I'm really not sure, but it looks like it, some of these members might be bowed a little bit. Um, I'm silent on that. We have a window air conditioning system. This used to be a porch. It was closed in. They took this siding and they run it all the way down. There's no gap. No gap between the siding. I mean, there is a gap, but there isn't a gap. A usable gap between the siding and, and the patio foundation this this is a rain drain this is a drain right here so the, all the water comes down to the edge of this siding so that's that's all gonna rot over here it gets a little higher so you'll probably get some better performance over here but down in here right in here not so much this receptacle outlet is not GFCI protected and it does not have an end use cover which is kind of like a bubble cover that one doesn't have an end use cover, but that one shouldn't even be, that one should be a closed face. You shouldn't be able to plug stuff into that, so that's kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Dog door was installed under the storm door. It's okay if you got a dog. Otherwise, it's a hole in your door. Over here, we've definitely, we've got some parging around the brick and the ledges here. We've had a problem. You can also see that there's, the drainage over here is very poor very poor drainage. We got some cracks right in there. So they've got some wood wood repair here. Check that out. I'd like to come back and get some still images of this. This is pretty okay. The water water can curl back three inches. The tensile strength of the water like mosquitoes can walk on water and curl back three inches. So the water's just rolling off of this roof and rolling down here, sitting there. It's ruining the mortar. We got lousy drainage. All these things. A rain gutter. Correct some drainage in here. And you might have a chance. Otherwise, this will this will repeat itself. To my knowledge, this is the only vacuum breaker in the house. So that would be the one you would try to use to uh, fill the swimming pool. It'd be nice if you had vacuum breakers on all of them. It'd be nice. This goes back to the swimming pool. So we jump around a little bit, but um, this gate it swings out, it should be self-closing. This gate should be self-closing. And this chicken wire, okay, that's scalable. Scalable, that means kids can climb over it. We're back to the swimming pool. This fence over here is installed inside out. The rails, like the top rail, the middle rail, bottom rail, the rails are exposed on the other side of the fence. Again, it makes it scalable so that somebody can come over into the swimming pool area. You don't want to find any floaters. That's what it is. It's a safety, it's a safety requirement. Moving along, I thought I saw, yep, right here. This is the garage. Uh, west wall, we've got some stair step cracks between the brick and mortar right there. Coming along here, this is the garage car casement, and it's in direct contact with the cement. So there's nothing to keep water from wicking up in here and causing wood damage. Like this, nice example right over here of wood rot. Right there. Okay, the optic sensors are not supposed to be for the, this is for the garage door over, uh, overhead opener. They're not supposed to be higher than six inches from the garage floor. Coming along. Oh, got switches. We'll just turn some switches on. We got some garage storage. The garage, the attic, put on access. These fluorescent light luminaries. Okay, they should have protective prism covers on them. And this one is connected by a permanent use with an extension cord, so that that shouldn't happen. That's not the way to do it. We got some movement in here, movement across here, movement across here. That was probably a leak or the original garage scuttle hole cover. Something's going on there. We don't know. We don't know. 
coming along in here. That's not GFCI protected. Coming along in here, this door button, I'm I'm challenged, vertically challenged. It's not supposed to be, and this is like within inches. It's not supposed to be closer to the floor than five feet. So that little hands can't come up here and manipulate it. Also, there should be a warning notice on here to to remind you that you know you can hurt somebody with this door. This solid core door. This door should have a self-closing spring on it. As it is, the door can be left open and nothing keeps the fire from walking into the living space. So that should have a self-closing spring on it. Going on along here, no GFCI, so the door opener is not GFCI. You do have a pull handle. You do have a pull handle, you have to have a pull handle inside the door. Coming along here, we're going to look at it a little more. The way this house is set up, I can't really run in and out because they got a little dog in that sunroom. Uh, that manual door lock should have been disabled to keep accidental damage from happening to the door. I do think that I'm going to find something with the door. Let me see what I can see with it open. Seeing what I can see. But you come over here to the top rail. Okay, top panel, metal panel door. You look up there. You can see that, but you got some cracks up there. It's been stressed out pretty good. So, all right. So this is the south side of the house. That outlet is not GFCI protected, and it does not have a in-use cover, bubble cover. Moving on along, high soil, high soil conditions all along the south side of the house. And you can see, you can see how the yard slopes down and out, out that direction, down and out that direction. You've got pretty good swales, but not perfect. Right here, this is level grade drainage, so high soil, high soil, level grading. This is actually negative. You see how the soil curves towards the house. The water stays around here. The water stays around here. It's like power into the house. Oh, by the way, that's your mailbox out there on the curb. And that's your address. The address is not posted on the structure. It's supposed to be posted on the structure. But it's not. A lot of municipalities allow it on the mailbox, so it is what it is. This is the clothes dryer vent over here. Looks like we got a missing brick. What's that? Spalling. I haven't seen this guy yet. No vacuum breaker. The vent flap is stuck open. See how good that looks. Come back and get some stills. This is for the water heater. This is for the water heater temperature pressure relief drain. And that tells me that we're probably not going to find a safety pan. Also, that's not supposed to terminate higher from the ground than six inches. So that's your temperature pressure relief valve. It's not properly terminated, and we need to look at the safety pan. There's other ways besides the safety pan drain, so I'm not gonna get too far ahead of myself. You got a little crack in the mortar between the soldier bricks. These are soldier bricks, these are sailor bricks. You can imagine why. The electric box should be sealed on three sides, top and sides. It should be left open to drain. The water should not be able to get back behind that. Moving on along the roof. We've probably already discussed this, but we don't have sufficient drip on the electric cables coming into the weather head. On along these windows, we got different style windows. This window is not the same style as this window. Some of these windows have been replaced. Some of these windows have been replaced. Storm doors are not part of the inspection. We do not have a bubble cover. That is not GFCI protected. The doorbell works. Communication systems are beyond the scope of this inspection. Okay, moving along, still painted brick. No rain gutters. No rain gutters around any part of the house. And then there's some that gappy flashing I was talking about earlier. Also something from the roof. I believe you've seen the roof video already. I don't remember calling this out. Let's go up here a little bit. See that plumbing vent pipe right there by the ridge vent? It's in the ridge vent. It's too close to the ridge vent. It has a potential leak right up there. 
that was not done properly. Moving on along, bushes, bushes, bushes. This is the front faucet. This is the water pressure. We're getting just a little over 40 psi. A little over 40 psi. I'll come back and get a still image of that. I don't think it's ever going to tighten. All these bushes should be cut back away from the house. Tree should not be closer to the structure than 22 feet. 25 feet, excuse me. For lots of different reasons. Mostly the roof roots. You can see the way the little sidewalk there is breaking up. Well, these roots push stuff. Let's see what we got over here. Alright, again, the house faces east. This is the north side of the house. This is the north yard. And right over there on the other side of those trees, those bushes, those shrubs, on the other side is where your water meter is located. That's where your water meter is. I can't find a main shutoff valve to the house, except the water meter. It's not uncommon. I don't know how to say age, but you shouldn't have it. These are your cleanouts, Siri cleanouts, PVC cleanouts to the house. We have this extra little drain right here. This extra little guy right, right there. Um, apparently, he is for the water filtration system, the salt water filtration system we saw on the, at the beginning of this 